teaching is a noble profession the question is how do you do it how much you worry about what is transmitted and do you cater only to top students do you cater to middle students or do you try to cater to everybody my philosophy has been to try to cater to the 60% total of the class you can't go reach everybody when i started probably i used to speak very fast worry about how much i will to cover in a lecture and try to tell many things but later on i felt that that approach is not the correct approach what one should try to do is whatever one tells one should try to see that it gets transmitted to the majority of the class the class picture over the last years has changed a lot in the first 30 years probably the student capacity coming to chemistry was much higher than what it is today this is not because the students are less efficient than earlier now there are many more avenues therefore the quality of the entering student is lower than before and as a teacher we have to realize that if the entering student is of a lower quality you have to spend more time in trying to reach the class some of the difficult things you have to omit because if you try to cover all that then time become short and then you try to go too fast so moral is don't try to worry about the whole syllabus cover it in such a manner that most of the students get the major part of the lecture in the end your class in the class it looks the students have understood everything but when you conduct the exam then of course many times you wonder whether the student should shoot himself or the teacher should shoot himself but i think that is a part of life if everybody absorbed everything then the world would be very different and sometimes as teachers we forget how poor we were ourselves we try to imagine that we used to work very hard which is not really always true we also used to sometimes doze off in the class sometimes shut off sometimes be thinking of something else but when you teach for a long time you always think that the students are at fault and don't realize that there are faults in us also and many times as you become older you struggle to get the correct word you try to cover up you have to realize there is a very nice statement that professor rathman made if the student writes 80% of the correct answer you should give him 100% mark because in the class also you forget everything and you also make a mistake on the board and we have to realize this sometimes we especially when we are young we try to cut marks for every mistake but later on we try to see that okay these are the positive statements and four of the five positive statements are good then your marking should be at 90 to 95 of course it also happens that as the quality of the students decreases your evaluation becomes little bit more lenient whether you have become lenient or whether when you were starting out you were more strict this is the question and this is the moral that you also change the student body also changes and therefore change is a part of the whole of teaching without change there is no teaching the final message for any teacher is the student is the primary target and we should worry about the student If you worry about the student, probably you are a good teacher.